Hi, this is Paula, and I'm going to share my favorite book with you called Bad Kitty by Nick Brule. The reason I love this book so much is because I have a bad kitty of my own. You'll see, this is Bad Kitty. Her name is Shadow. She jumped up on my table, my sewing table, and she has a roll of scotch tape in her mouth. She's going to take that somewhere else and play with it. So, she's a bad, bad kitty. Now, if I were showing this to students, I would pop it up on a big smart board behind me, and they would see her in all her glory. So, this is Bad Kitty by Nick Brule. It's an ABC book. I am not going to read the whole book. I'm just going to read excerpts from it because this is just for practice. So, we begin the book... She wasn't always a bad kitty. So she would know about that. She used to be a good kitty. Until one day, oh dear, we're all out of food for the kitty. All we have are some healthy, delicious. Do you think kitty's going to like healthy and delicious? And it starts with a asparagus. Do any of you like asparagus? I know my granddaughter and I do, but I know some kids don't really like asparagus, and Kitty doesn't like it at all. If you see, she's saying, Ack! Eek! Eek! Oh, no! Ugh! Yuck! And finally, we get to Z, which is, you guessed it, Zucchini. Kitty was not happy, not happy at all. That's when she decided she would be a bad kitty. But not just any bad kitty, a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. She, I'm going to find out what she does because she's bad. Ate my homework. That's all right. And we go all the way to Z. At which time she zeros the zinnias. Now, I don't know if you know what zinnias are, but they're little flowers. And it looks like she has plucked them all off of the stem. What a bad, bad kitty. What a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. And then... I'm back from the grocery store. Look at all the good food I bought for Kitty. We have... Begins with anchovies. Now, who knows what an anchovy is? Yeah? An anchovy is a little fish. See? And it's what's about this big. And it even had the little eyeballs. And when I was a young girl in Wichita, there was a pizza shop that used to make pizzas with anchovies on it. They're very salty and they're very good. So she's happy here. Yippee, she's saying. Oh, yes. Yum. Yowzy. And finally, for Z, baked zebra ziti. Now, I don't know if you know what that is. I'm not sure I know what it is, but it looks kind of like a pasta. Can you think of another feline, another cat who likes pasta? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Garfield. What do you think? Yeah, Garfield loves lasagna. So I think Kitty probably loved her zebra ziti. Now, Kitty was happy, very, very happy. 
she decided that from now on she would be a good kitty. But not just any good kitty, a very, very good, good, good kitty. She, now she's going to tell us all the things she does from A to Z to show she's good. She apologizes to Grandma. Looks like she bit Grandma's ankle. And finally, we get to Z and lull the baby to sleep. You see those Z's there? Zzz. That's what artists and, and sometimes authors use to show that a person is asleep. It's supposed to be the sound somebody makes when they're sleeping. What a good kitty. What a very, very good, good, good kitty. How can we reward a good kitty? Look, kitty, we brought you a new friend. You don't suppose. I'm looking at the picture. What do you see there? Yes, I see a dog. Do you think Kitty's going to want a puppy as a surprise? I don't know. Let's find out. You can play together and you can go to the park together and you can share your food with him. Do you think Kitty wants to share her food? Uh, no. I read that wrong. Uh-oh. Kitty does not want to share her fruit. Look at the look on Kitty's face. She is not happy. And that is Bad Kitty by Nick Brule. One of the things I would do with this is we would make a class ABC book where we would um, come up with a different thing and we would illustrate it for each letter of the alphabet. Um, for example, this picture we would say, jumped up on my table and stole my tape. Another thing I would do with it, it would be good for discussing things that we do when we're angry, discussing the emotion of anger, and things we do when we're happy, because Kitty got happy in here. Um, I would culminate it, of course, with the kids getting to draw a picture of them doing something that makes them happy. And that is Bad Kitty by Nick Brule. I'll see you next time.